Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the thin layer chromatography method for doing quality control on our radio pharmaceuticals, okay? So the first sort of system of doing the quality control on the radio pharmaceuticals I wanna talk about is what we we'll call the system A and B. So essentially when you're doing any kind of thin layer chromatography for radiopharmaceuticals, we're basically looking for impurities. So the impurities that we're looking for with the Technetium 99M radio pharmace pharmaceuticals are your free protectinate, and your reduced hydrolyzed. So these are the two common ones that we are looking for. So we're trying to see how much of these two impurities we have in our product that we have made in the radio pharmacy. And based on that, we want to see how pure our product is. So how much of our wanted or desired product we have. So let's do an example. And the way I'm going to do this example is by first showing you how we calculate it. So if you remember from the last video with MDP, when we do the thin layer chromatography for that, we have two strips. Each of them testing a different element. So we have the normal saline and we have the one that goes in the acetone. So I'm just going to redraw the strips a bit further apart so I can show you guys properly. So again, with our thin layer chromatography with MDP, we had our normal saline and the acetone. So let's just pretend our product was spotted right there. And we'll pretend that they're gonna be cut in half like that. So when you, after your sample, or spot has run all the way up and you are ready to measure each half you are measuring for different things and it's important to realize what you're looking for in each piece of your chromatography strip so in the example of MDP and this can also be applied to um, DTPA because they do use the same um, set up. So for normal saline, at the top you are looking for your free protectinate plus your product, or in this case MDP. In the bottom you are going to have your reduced hydrolyze plus a colloid that forms. So that's for your normal saline. Now in the acetone, it's a little bit different. Instead, you have your free protectinate at the top, but your product is going to be on the bottom half. 
and then it's gonna go along with your reduced hydrolyze and your colloid. So it's important to know, uh, depending on the radiopharmaceutical you're looking for, uh, what you are looking for in each part. How is it going to travel on your strip? So that being said, that brings us to the system A and B. So for system A, we are looking for the percentage of free protectinate. While with system B, we're looking for the percent reduced hydrolyzed. And once we find how much we have of both of these impurities, it can tell us how much of our actual product we have. So the percent bound of your technetium. So how do we do that? It's a really simple formula. So you can remember it as your percent free protectinate equals So your percent free protectinate is equal to your A top over your A top plus A bottom, which basically means the top of your strip and then the bottom of your strip. And then for the reduced hydrolyzed, it's the same idea. but we call it B. So it's B top over B top plus B bottom. Okay, so once you've calculated these two values, then you know how much of the impurities that you have in your product. And then you can finally calculate your percent bound which is very easy to do. So it's basically just take your 100% subtracting your percent free plus your percent reduced hydrolyzed. So basically subtracting your impurities. And for MDP, as we talked about before, we want a total percent bound greater than 90%. And most of the radiopharmaceuticals tend to be greater or equal to this. Um, let's do a quick calculation with what we know. So let's say we have our strips. Uh, this one is going to be our acetone strip, just as an example. And this will be our normal saline. So our values, let's pretend we cut it like that. So our value for the top of our acetone is 0 0.02. I'm just making up these numbers. And then let's say you get 24.2 in the bottom. Um, normal saline, let's just say you get 22.9 at the top and then zero at the bottom. And also you wanna account for your background. Um, so it's basically the number that you see on your dose calibrator before you put anything in there. So let's just say your background is zero. Okay, so uh, let's start with our system A. We'll go with acetone. So we've got our top. So it's 
a top over a top plus a bottom. So this is our system A and then system B, um, same thing. So you have your B top over B top plus B bottom. So just quickly doing the math, this comes to about 0.008-ish, and then this is going to be 1. Okay, so these are your two impurities. Okay, and as we talked about before, the um, acetone is going to be the one that is where your product is at the bottom with the reduced hydrolyzed and your normal saline is going to have the product at the top. Just so we're clear on that. So you're going to take your 100%, subtract 0 0.008 plus 1. So essentially you're subtracting about 1%. And so you get 99% as your final answer for the amount that is bound. So that it means it's very good. Um, it passes and your product is ready to use for clinical use. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that it was helpful and that you learned something and that this system of thin layer chromatography and calculating the chemical purity of your product was simple enough to understand. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I'll see you in the next video.